Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me in the studio today is Dr Anna Woodson from the Dermatology Clinic and today we're talking all about Botox and its role in the growth of demand for anti-aging treatments. Welcome to the show my friend. Thank you for having me. Okay, explain to everyone at home the science behind Botox, which is what we actually know it as. So botulinum toxin is actually derived from the bacteria, the clostridium, um, and we use it today. It relaxes or prevents the nerve signals to our muscles, and so it helps relax our muscles of facial expression in a very uh, sort of pointed, directed way. Um, we use it to help the wrinkles in between our brow, our crow's feet, which is, you know, around our eyes and our forehead, and then over the years we've gotten more creative and used some lower facial, facial muscle expression. I know. I see so many things on the internet now with people doing this live streaming right. when they're having work done, and you think, oh my gosh, Five years ago, who would ever have thought about putting Botox in the neck area? Sure. You would never have thought that, right? Sure, yeah. But it's what you do behind the scenes to develop what the techniques are is quite amazing. Sure. So how do we know that we are the right candidate for Botox? So I think you need to do your research. I mean, it's always good to know who is treating you. If you're getting a consultation with your board certified dermatologist, make sure that they are in fact injecting you. Um, make sure that they know your past medical history, any medications that you're on, any procedures that you've had, particularly uh, cosmetic surgery, mm. um, other fillers or Botox. And uh, it's important just to make sure that you are the right candidate, the right fit. Is it important that we discuss with you any medications we're on and things along those lines? Yes, you're right, because uh, some antibiotics, uh, one in particular interacts with Botox. And so you definitely do need to make sure that even over-the-counter medicines, herbal medications, I would tell your doctor everything. Okay, I think that's great advice because yes. we want everyone to know, you know, there's still a little bit of a stigma around anti-aging, right? Sure. But I'm all for it. If you can do something yeah. that makes you feel better, who yes. am I to judge you? Yes. And plus, I'm in there myself. Yes. You know me. <laughs> um, so let's talk a little bit about how do we prepare when it comes to making the appointment and actually going in to have the service done? And so again, I would just make sure that you know who is performing the procedure. Um, some past medical thing or some uh, medical uh, contraindications, obviously anybody that's pregnant or looking to become pregnant, nursing, that's uh, anybody with uh, oh, really? muscular or neuromuscular disorders, multiple sclerosis, um, ALS. Um, so there are a few things that would make you not a great candidate. And then once you're there, uh, as, as long as there's not any um, anticoagulants that you're taking, like aspirins oh, or um, uh, NSAIDs or um, some of the medications that our skin patients take that thin the blood, um, you're probably not going to have anything other than a little minor bruising, bleeding, yeah. swelling. I've never bruised yes. in all the years that I've been doing it. It's probably been, gosh, probably 15 years. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm really 60. Yes. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Um, let's talk a little bit about um, people who have it done. How long does it take before you need to go back? Because I want to jump in here, if I may, if you wouldn't mind. Sure. There is conversation that if you're highly active in the fitness, um, it doesn't last as long. Onset is going to be anywhere from three to seven days. We tell people to give it up to... 14 days yes. before you get a complete picture of how your Botox is going to take. Um, and then most people, it lasts three to four months, but that is true if you are um, excess excessively active and you're yeah. using those muscles. Some people do find that um, maybe they have to go back a bit quicker, um, more towards the three months rather yeah. than the four. Well, I like to go every three months. Yes. Don't you? Yes. <laughs> if I was doing your job, I'd be injecting 24-7. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate you. Thank, Thank you for you coming for in, Dr. Me. Anna. If you want to find out more, there it all is up on the screen for you. Even if you have any concerns in regards to Botox, they will give you any information that you need. But you know what? Stop by for consultation. Back after this short break.